Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm Kathy Brown, registered dietitian, yoga teacher, and fourth trimester fitness instructor. And my dream is to help women, specifically through their pe pregnancy and postpartum time, to connect with their bodies and feel strong and empowered, um, knowing that being a woman is a pretty cool thing and having the opportunity to experience pregnancy, birth, and raising a child is a gift and I just want women to connect and uh, share their experiences with others as well. So today, this is my daughter here, um, my one and only, yeah, and she and I have our first weekend of just us. So this is my first time fully being um, alone with her 24-7 for actually probably about 48 hours. And so I thought I'd vlog my experience because I know there's, first of all, a lot of single parents out there who do this 24-7, 365. Um, so if that is you, please leave some comments below and to help out any other people who might be either single parents or um, doing it on their own for a while. And, uh, sorry, she's, she's walking now, so I'm just kind of keeping an eye on her. But, um, second of all, um... I just thought it might be interesting, and I'm sure I'm going to learn some stuff uh, throughout the day. So I thought I'd share with you our day, and so here we go. We we just got up uh, at 5.30, so it's 6 o'clock now. Um, we are both ready for the day. And we usually wait a little bit longer to get ready, um, but we're actually meeting a friend <laughs> at the park this morning at oh my goodness at 8 30 so we're both ready we're gonna have breakfast at around 7 so I'll be sure to share that with you but yeah for now we're just gonna go um, play practice walking and uh, enjoy enjoy the morning for the next about hour and then we're gonna have some breakfast so let's go I'll take you with me One quick side note, if you have seen my previous video about cloth diapering, I have a quick update and I wanted to share it with you um, because I have come across some of these cotton um, pre-folds. You can see they have kind of a, a line, a sewed line, where you just kind of fold them into thirds. These make, if you have a pocket diaper, these make amazing inserts. I use I've been using two hemp liners for her and she still leaks sometimes during the day. I use just one of these and she is good. She's completely dry. It's amazing. I don't know if it's just us, but this has been a new found amazingness. Um, and then I do one of these with the, oh, oh no, I've been using, I'm sorry, I've been using microfiber two microfiber liners during the day. That's what's leaking. Then at night, I've been using one hemp and one microfiber, and I've replaced the microfiber with the cotton. Again, zero leaks, it's been great. So that's all, just a quick, you know, announcement. This is our kale. It's dinosaur kale, also known as lacitino kale. And I love this stuff and it's doing so well in the pots. Although I think I want to put it in the actual garden next year and then leave this for the lettuce because I don't think my lettuce is doing so great in the garden, but I just, I love it. It's so beautiful. And I especially love how the water beads on it. I think it's so pretty and it's so delicious. And if you're not a huge fan of kale, because of how tough it is, this 
variety is super tender and you can eat it like salad and no big deal at all. So we have two raised garden beds and this is the first one, which you can see cabbage, purple cabbage in the front and our lettuces that are a little bit wilted and I need to pick some of the, the dead stuff off the bottom, but we've got romaine and red leaf, a poor little pea that has, has passed on. And then we have three um, acorn squash plants here and a little extra romaine in the back. Um, and then the other garden bed, I have dill and a little tomato plant um, that is not doing very well. And then four pepper plants, the two on the right, um, the one that I'm zooming in here on nice and close that has a little pepper there is a sweet variety. And the other two are a mild pepper variety. And then I've got three pole bean plants here, um, uh, or bush beans, I'm sorry, bush beans, kind of like green beans and then a whole bunch of onions. And most of these are doing really well, especially since filming this video. Um, just zooming in here on the beautiful dew drops. This is what I love about watering first thing in the morning because you can see all the beautiful dew drops from both the morning and from the watering. Um, and then as you can see here, we've got another purple cabbage. So hopefully some good, delicious harvests this fall. the yogurt and now we're working on the piece of toast this is about the size that I cut the pieces and I could probably do them bigger because she's really good at chewing um, but you know just nervous about that and then we're working on some of the pineapple too